So there will be a um, video on YouTube. I've already pen casted um, all the notes, so we should be ready to go. All right. So before we start, we need to define what a common ion is. And unhelpfully, I've given you this definition, the presence of an ion that appears in both the acid or base in a salt in a solution. What? I don't get it. I know, it's Monday. Here, watch. So let's say that you have a weak acid. It dissociates in this fashion. We all know that, right? Okay. Let's say to this weak acid in the same beaker, I decide to add some of this. This is a salt. salt. It's a salt. Okay, and it is uh, going to dissociate totally into sodium ions and fluoride ions. You know from your extensive Le Chatelier's work that adding this into the mix will do what to the um, equilibrium? Shift it to the left. What happens to the pH when you shift it to the left? becomes uh, more acidic. Uh, okay. Um, lower, lower I saw Minda stick her finger up. pH increases because the hydrogen ion um, concentration decreases. Okay, I get that. What happens to this if you add this? Shifts right. It's going to shift left again because what are you adding? The hydrogen ion concentration is going to increase, therefore it shifts to the left. Okay, so uh, what a common ion is, is something that's in common. Oh, well why didn't you say that in the first place? Oh, uh, because. It would be too easy. That would be way too easy. All right, so let's look at these two examples that I just pretty much showed you. Um, hydrogen fluoride is going to dissociate without the um, presence of a common ion to this extent, and the pH will be 2.08. Now I take the same hydrogen fluoride uh, solution, and I'm going to add 0.05 molar <coughs> sodium fluoride to it. The common ion is the fluorine ion. That's what we start with initially, and it alters uh, due to Le Chatelier's principle, the dissociation of the um, hydrofluoric acid to an extent that the um, hydrogen ion concentration is um, reduced. In the first instance, without the common ion, we had a hydrogen ion concentration of 0 0.00825 molar. When we introduced a common ion, the hydrogen ion concentration went down to 0 0.00136 molar, making the pH go up. It's nothing but uh, Le Chatelier's principle um, happening. So, uh, here are your steps. Uh, identify the common ion. Remember, weak electrolytes don't count because you need something that totally dissociates in water. You get that? Yes or no? Yeah. If it doesn't dissociate, it's not going to be a common ion. Find the equilibrium equation that affects the pH, set up a rice table, um, make sure to include the initial concentration of the salt in the table. Okay then, pretty much that's it for common ion uh, effect. You are doing lots of math. Ready, set, yes. think.